guys it has been so long since i've like filmed a video sorry i know this is a really weird angle but i need to look in the mirror to do my makeup i am so excited for today's video because i'm doing like a bookish type video doing bookish things i've seen a lot of people do this and i always wanted to do one of these so that's what we're doing today i feel like i look so pale i've lost all of my tan I haven't been outside really at all in the month of August. We are gonna go book shopping. I'm really considering starting a book journal because I've seen so many people do it. I think it's such a good way to document like all the books that you've read. Also so cold out today. It's like 50 degrees right now, which is not ideal, but fall is coming. I'm actually really excited for fall. So just ready for like warm clothes and just fall colors. I'm gonna finish my makeup and I will talk to you guys in a second. All right, makeup is done and I actually think I'm gonna keep my hair like this. I just threw this up to do my makeup, but I actually really like how it looks. Before we continue, I wanna open a very special package that I got from Pear Eyewear. So thank you so much to Pear Eyewear for sponsoring this video. If you guys have watched my videos, you have seen me wear these top frames literally every single day. And then especially because I do work from home. Obviously, I also have a lot of YouTube work and just stuff that I do on my computer. So these are really nice. They are blue light glasses, which helps with the reflection. It ensures that my eyes do not hurt by the end of the day. So I love that. They are an eyeglass wear brand. They have a bunch of different like top frames to choose from. These are the Murphy ones and i love them i think they're so cute they're like very big and chunky these are the base pair and they also come with top frames so i'm gonna show you guys i got some new top frames first of all we have this brown color which i think is so pretty for fall i love it. it's like a brown auburny color i actually really like this color so we have that one and then i got this red color for like end of summer a little spunky pair <laughs> and then the last ones i got are these like cheetah print ones which you can never go wrong with some cheetah print basically to choose which frames you want they have a little like video thing that you can use on their website to see which ones best fit your face which ones you like the best you can add the top frames they also do have prescription that you can add as well if you have a prescription glasses you can do prescription and blue light if you want both of those i love these cheetah prints but you guys i'm like obsessed with this fall auburn color i think it's so cute if you guys are interested in checking out pair eyewear i will have the link down below you can get 15 percent off of your first order by using that link i quite literally wear these glasses every single day i love them and i cannot go without them anymore thank you so much to pair eyewear for sponsoring this video let's go ahead and start doing some bookish things i'm so excited so i got a very exciting package in the mail yesterday well technically i didn't get it my boyfriend got it but he got it for me so my birthday was this past thursday and he got me first of all he got me new on cloud shoes for um work for dental hygiene which i'm really excited about those because i've been wanting a pair for so long and he also got me a new bookshelf which is still in the package down here i need to build it but i'm actually going to do that in a video so stay tuned for that video it should be up with the next few videos it's like a tall white one and i'm it's gonna fill hopefully a lot of this space and I also got some new decor, so I'm gonna show you guys that. The first thing I got is this cute ceramic dye. I don't know. I saw on Amazon and I thought it was so perfect for my little bookshelves. And then I also got this, which I feel like is super popular. I've seen a lot of people have these. It says the art of flowers and it just has some flowers on the side and it's supposed to be like a book so like you put it in your bookshelf and you i need to get flowers to sprout out of it but yeah it just fits into your bookshelf like that and then the last thing i got was a smelly diffuser thing just because i think that these look really cute on the bookshelves looks like this and then there's little flowers that you put in it it's in the scent cashmere vanilla and i thought the color was perfect for fall as well those are all of the things that i got the smell is super strong in that as well i do have quite a lot of things like just like little plants i have this cute little elephant thing that i've had for forever maybe we'll find some more stuff today i really want to go to hobby lobby because they always have cute stuff there i'm probably gonna build it tomorrow because from sunday like i said i'm gonna do like a whole bookshelf redoing my bookshelves and all of that just have random piles of books everywhere especially my throne of glass series somebody got this for me and i have no space on here to put it so i'm very happy to finally have some space for that and also my tbr car is just overflowing as well which of course i'm very grateful for but i just need more space 
to lay everything out and make it look neat because it kind of feels very cluttered at the moment i'm gonna make some coffee and then we're gonna get on the road and go to the bookstore i don't even know if i'm gonna buy a whole lot but i just love browsing around and i hope it's not busy today because last time i went it was so busy because it was right before back to school let's go ahead and make a coffee i use this starbucks medium roast black coffee my boyfriend and i both love this stuff and then lately i've been using this new creamer by chobani it is the flavor peppermint mocha i saw this a few weeks ago and i know it's a little bit early for christmas i feel like this is a christmas flavor but it sounded so good and i got it and it's really good so highly recommend and then of course i use my trusty sugar cookie syrup from starbucks i am obsessed with sugar cookie so much i'm really second guessing because i have been obsessed with the chai pumpkin from starbucks we're gonna make coffee at home we should save money so i'm gonna make it here but i really want a pumpkin latte okay i'm gonna take my to-go cup because i'm taking this to go <laughs> Okay, I put a sweatshirt on because it's literally 55 degrees out, which is not okay. Fall is coming. I'm actually really excited for fall, so just ready for like warm clothes. I'm gonna head to the bookstores now. I really want to put on an audiobook, and I'm considering buying or using my Audible credit to get a Court of Silver Flames because that is on my September TBR. I just know myself, I am not going to read that book. It is so long, it is like 800 pages. I already have a lot of longer books on my TBR. I'm currently reading The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue on my Kindle and that one is over 400 pages. I'm about like 40% into it and it's already the seventh. So I'm like, I probably should start on A Court of Silver Flames listening to it because I listened to the last two books in the series, the third and the fourth book, and I just got through them a lot faster than actually reading it. I don't know why, you guys. I'm like not really feeling that series anymore for some reason. I don't know. I feel like after A Court of Wings and Ruin, it just really, really drug on for me. And then A Court of Frost and Starlight was just nothing really. So yes, I think I'm gonna use my Audible credit to buy that book and listen to it because I just know myself and I know I'm not gonna read it. So I'm not gonna read the physical book, I guess I should say. I'm currently reading The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue and and it's on Kindle Unlimited. I don't know, I have very mixed feelings about it. I also feel like it's kind of slow. The concept is really interesting. I'm doing a reading vlog reading it so you guys will see a little bit more of my thoughts, like what the book is about. But it's starting to pick up a little bit more. Very metaphorical writing. It reminds me a lot of Jessa Hastings writing, the way that she like words things. I don't know how else to put it besides that. I have my coffee. I need to get gas. I'm at a quarter tank, so I need to get gas before I go. And then we can go to the bookstore. And probably I really want to go to Hobby Lobby too. That sounds really fun. I haven't been there in forever. And I also am looking for more like home decor for our house. We are starting to decorate a little bit more, so I will probably kind of show that in a vlog here soon the updated wall decor it's just really hard because we can't put holes in the wall so everything is going to have to be put up with command strips there's things that i want to hang like things that need to be hung from a hook but i can't put a hook in anyways that's enough yapping i'm gonna get gas and we will get on the road guys i have made it to the bookstore i'm at barnes right now i'm gonna go here and then i'm also gonna go to schuler's which is an independent bookstore here in grand rapids and we're gonna look at both places and then definitely go to hobby lobby
Okay, I made it to the second bookstore. It is very busy here, so we'll see if I film anything, honestly. I try to be discreet about it, but I don't know. I just need to, like, not care what people think, but also people are very judgmental. I honestly don't even know if I'll buy anything. I bought two books at Barnes. I'm just gonna look around the whole store. They also have used books here, which is really nice. I really like to look in that section because books are, like, half off, and sometimes there's some, like, newer releases and just good books. So I went to two bookstores and then I went to Hobby Lobby and I got some good things there. So I'm gonna head home. I will give you guys a haul of everything that I got when I get home. I also really want to redecorate my Kindle, my Kindle stickers, because I've had these on for like three months now, so I want to switch it up a little bit. I wish I had some fall stickers, but unfortunately I don't. I don't think I'm going to do a reading journal. I don't know why, I just like don't really have the urge to do it. I think that it looks cool when other people do it and put the time into it, but I personally just don't really have the patience or time for like scrapbooking and all of that and i feel like youtube is like my digital diary of all of the books that i've read obviously i have all my opinions and readings on there maybe sometime in the future i will want to do it but right now i just i don't know i would have to buy all this stuff for it as well also if you guys are not following my tiktok you should follow it it's Alyssa m robertson i've been posting like three times a day on tiktok so if you're interested go check them out. Let's head home though. I'm gonna listen to my audiobook again. So far the audiobook is pretty good. When I think about that guitar series it doesn't like really interest me but once I am reading the book or listening to the book I always love being with the characters again. Like I really do love the story. I don't know why. It, I think the fact that they're so big is just so intimidating. Like the books are hefty. But I do love like being in the story and with the characters again. Okay I'm officially home. I've been home for a long time. <laughs> I just finished editing a video that I needed to post for tomorrow so I wanted to get that done and upload it before I did any of my haul or anything. Anyways let's go ahead and do my book haul and also the things I got for my bookshelf. First of all let's start with the book haul. So like I said I went to Barnes first and then I went to an independent bookstore. At Barnes I got two books. So the first one I got is Layla by Colleen Hoover. This is the book that pretty much started my reading journey. The first book was It Ends With Us. I don't have the physical copy of that either but I didn't really like that book that much. I don't have that copy. This was the second book that I read and this was five stars. I was obsessed with this book when I read it and I really 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 want to go back and reread it. I just never had the physical copy so I wanted to finally get it. Just have it in my collection. This book is so small compared to like all the other books I read now. It's like not even 300 pages. If you don't know, this is like a paranormal book. Not a rom- I mean, it's a romance slash paranormal, but it's definitely not like Colleen Hoover's normal romance books. This was five stars. <laughs> but I'm curious to see if I still feel the same way. And then I got another book by Annabelle Monaghan. I recently read Summer Romance by her and it was a five star. I loved that book so much. I cannot wait to go back and reread it. And I just wanted to get another book by her. The Summer Romance didn't have any spice in it, so I'm curious to see. I don't really know if that's like how most of her books are, but I loved her writing. Her writing was so good. So many good quotes. I could go on and on about that book, but I wanted to try another one of her books, and this one had higher ratings on Goodreads, so I went ahead and bought this one. There was also Same Time Next Summer by her, but 
like I said, this one had higher ratings, so I got that. At the other bookstore, like I said, I really like to go there because they have a lot of used books that are, they're like half price, maybe even like less than half, which is awesome. I ended up putting a book back. I was gonna get three, but I was like, I do not need three books from here. The first book that I got was King of Pride by Anna Hong. I recently read the first book in the Kings of Sin series, which is King of Wrath. I loved that book. Again, it was a four and a half star. It, I had that book on my shelf for so long and it took me so long to get to it but once I finally did I was so happy that I read it. This is the second book. Also the cover is definitely different now. The cover that I have for the first book is just a white spine but she went and like redid all of her spines so it's not gonna match which is a little annoying but that's all right. Really, really excited to get into this one. This is a romance series, by the way. The last book that I got is a used book. So this was a lot cheaper than what it would normally be. And this is also a hardcover. I got Lessons in Chemistry by Bonnie Garmas. I've heard a lot of good things about this book. I've been wanting to buy it for so long, but the hardcover is like $30. It's just so much just that on a book when I have so many other books that I need to get to first. But when I saw that this was used and half off, actually it was only $13. So that's more than half. But but I was like, I cannot pass this up right now. I'm not really exactly sure of the plot. I know that this is a literary fiction, I'm pretty sure. It's based in the 1960s. That's my little book haul for the day. I'm very happy with all of my purchases. Let's move over here so I can show you what I got. Like I said, I got a really tall, um, it's a white bookshelf and it's gonna have a lot of space to put extra things hopefully i mean i'm saying all this and i hope it's actually big but so i did end up going to hobby lobby and i got some flowers i tried to get like some fall colors to be able to put in here obviously i need to cut them these are way too long and i'm just gonna stick them in here and hopefully it will look good i don't know we will see and then i also got this little pumpkin obviously i had to get some fall decor to throw in there and then i was walking around and i was just looking for little trinkets i saw this bumblebee section and if you know you know magnolia parks bees i tried to look for like a little bumblebee that would just sit on my bookshelf but i couldn't find one that i really liked and i saw this thing it's like a little metal thing that you can put a card into so i'm gonna have to find something that i can stick into here that will make it look cute but for now i'll probably just have it sitting like this but yeah it has a little bee on it and i think it's so cute and then the last thing i got was this little shelf of fake books but it says choose to be grateful and it's supposed to be like a fall thing it has leaf on here but i figure it doesn't have to be just fall obviously if you can't really see the leaf you wouldn't even know that it's fall and i could use it all year round i did have another one that said something it was like something about fall but i saw this and i was like well this can this i can have all year round i liked it more so that is all of the things that i got i think i talked about me not doing a book journal it's just a lot of work and I just cannot even fathom doing that right now. But I did start this audiobook like I was telling you guys. I'm on chapter three right now, so I'm barely even into the book. Like 40 pages in, honestly, probably. I want to redecorate my Kindle. This is my Kindle currently. Obviously, the stickers are all messed up as well. But I have a bunch of other stickers that I want to kind of go through and pick out what I want to arrange them to look like. So let's do that. obsessed with it i didn't realize that i actually do have or i did have some like fall stickers i don't know just fall colors i feel like all of them look very much fall and i'm very happy with how it turned out so yay the last thing that i think i'm gonna do today besides do some reading is i really want to put a i want to put something on my wall that i've had for a while i didn't know where to put it but we've decorated pretty much the rest of the house okay that's a lie <laughs> We have not, but I figured out where I wanted to put my other stuff that I had and that one I decided I wanted to put on this wall. So I'm going to do that right now. This is what it looks like. It says, pray, grow, hope. The vibes, the colors, the flowers match very well with my room. So I'm just going to put it up here on this wall. What does 
doesn't look weird. I don't Does it look weird, guys? I don't know. <laughs> I wanted to show you guys the other things that I got today at Hobby Lobby. I completely forgot that I got a few signs. So I got this one for the kitchen. It says, give us this day our daily bread. And it's from Matthew 611. Just put it above our little dining table here. And then I also got this thing for the bathroom which says clean hands clean face clean heart i'm gonna put it right next to the plant here it matches perfectly just like that and then lastly i got this clock it's actually plastic i did not realize that but i'm gonna put it above the tv here if you guys can kind of get the idea <laughs> but there's nothing on the back that i can hang it with so i'm gonna have to figure out how because there's like a spot for the nail right there but obviously can't put a nail on the wall so i don't know i'm gonna have to figure out how i can hang that i didn't really think that out very well that is how things are looking i'm loving it it's like the only blank spot is really up here but obviously my bookshelf is going to cover that now hi guys i thought it'd be fun to kind of end off the video with my fall tbr so books that i kind of have on my radar books that i want to read throughout fall so like september october a little bit in november too the first book is a man called ove by frederick bachman i've heard a lot of people recently talking about this specifically destiny i get a lot of my book recommendations from her because i've been wanting to venture out more to like literary fiction recently and she has been reading a lot of that so yeah i've heard this one is super emotional my friend also messaged me when she saw that i posted this she asked me if i'd seen the movie because apparently the movie is really sad so i need to read this and then watch the movie and probably cry for hours and then we have Heartless Hunter by Kristen Cicerelli. This is a fantasy book that has been super popular. I don't really know the premise on this, honestly. It looks like a pretty quick read. Like, the words are pretty big on the pages. Then, of course, A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. I still have not started this trilogy, I think it is. And it's also a series on Netflix, so I really want to start it and watch this throughout, like, you know, spooky season. We also have The Last Song by Nicholas Sparks. This is a romance. This is one of my all-time favorite movies, and for some reason, I know this book definitely takes place in the summer, but for some reason it gives me fall vibes. Like, I, I don't really know why. I honestly have no clue, but I really want to read it. The only book I've read by Nicholas Sparks is Safe Haven loved the book and loved the movie so much i need to reread that then we have the fault in our stars by john green this is also a romance book and i've actually never read this book before i've seen the movie obviously it was very popular when i was like in middle school i think maybe high school <laughs> another recommendation from destiny she recently read this and i just really had the urge to pick it up when i saw it at the store we have the Velvet of never after which i am so excited to continue this series i read once upon a broken heart early in the summer and i still have not gotten to this one i don't know why i put off books that i am excited to read for some reason why do i do this i don't know we have the nightingale by kristen Hanna. i also have firefly lane by her so I don't know which one I'm going to get to, but I would at least like to get to one of these books. And lastly, we have Book Lovers by Emily Henry. This is another book that gives me fall vibes. The, the last book of hers, well, off of her like newer books that I have not read. That is my little stack of books that I am excited to read this fall. I am really excited. I'm building my bookshelf today. So again, like I said, stay tuned for that video. I'm pretty sure that's everything. Thank you so much to Pear Eyewear for sponsoring this video. Definitely check them out. I will have the links down below for you guys for 15% off of your purchase. I think that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!